Alrighty, a little information today. I'm gonna show you how uh, we're doing the F100 Crown Vic swap. And uh, most people just throw these spindles and stuff away. Uh, I'm not, the, the owner of this truck doesn't want any of the parts back, I already asked him. Um, to him it's just junk. To most people it's just junk, and uh, probably is. But uh, I'll tell you, uh, I learned this years ago from an old uh, fellow that used to own the junkyard over here, not too far from here, that these, uh, the AMCs and some of the Fords, you can use, turn this into an excellent trailer, lightweight trailer, spindle. Um, you know, you're not going to use it for a bulldozer, but here's what you end up with. <clears throat> Four bolts. I cut the, uh, cut the back of it off and ground it flat. That's where the kingpin used to go through. And, uh, you know, you lay the hub on it. Uh, got your wheel bearings already figured out. These are, you know, proven, you know, forward bearings. You know, they're good. Um, and the other plus to these, uh, these are great for a boat trailer or, uh, Actually, I used two of these on a car trailer years ago, uh, off an AMC. They were both off of AMCs. Used a five-inch piece of plate, weld to an eight-inch channel, and uh, the channel was the beam for the trailer. But uh, there you are, and uh, you've got a four-bolt trailer um, hub with bearings and the whole shooting match which was going to go in the junk, which I'm cleaning all this crap up this afternoon while it's not raining. But uh, I'll put those away. I don't know what I'll do with them, but uh, um, we'll put them to use for something. So, uh, you know, not everything is junk. Um, you know, this is just as simple as taking that apart, knocking the drum off, and unbolt these. That bolt. That bolt. That bolt and that bolt and uh then you take a torch and clip that right through there and grind it flat and you have a, a forged spindle that can be bolted onto any flat surface and uh you know don't underestimate the amount of force that's on those bolts um so i'll keep the original bolts and probably use those or i'll bolt them on with grade eights and then uh I will normally weld around them as well. So, uh, you know, uh, if you grease those, put new new uh, seals in them and grease them, put them up, those will last on a, a light trailer for years. So, uh, you know, it's just a, just a thing you can use. Maybe somebody can get some good out of. Not a, not a huge savings, but you know, if you're gonna build something, you have some of these laying around. Um, I'm really maybe leaning towards building me a uh, 10 or 12 foot lightweight trailer to haul uh, you know, things like side by side or lumber or whatever on. So these will be perfect for that. Um, you know, you can weld a plate on the end of a tube and bolt these on it, make you a, a spring spring axle. Or, you know, a lot of the trailers I build, I don't even fool with suspension. Uh, quite frankly, uh, a lot of times it's more trouble than it's worth. And, the height that it makes the trailer uh, is really not worth it to me but anyway uh, long story short these are 70 f100 i think 671 something like that but a lot of fords and uh, amc cars uh, are this way so before you scrap something take a look at the spindles if you're you know if you're looking for something like that you know and you know the wheel bolt pattern uh it's, it's you know a standard ford truck so that's going to be easy to find you know, those bearings are huge compared to what you get in a little um, Harbor Freight or, um, you know, tractor supply or wherever you're from type of trailer axle. So uh, just something to think about and hope helps somebody out. So uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.